to 11, farmers are looking for new ways to deal with pesky critters taking a bite out of their crops. WPTV News Channel 5 anchor Tanya Rogers joins us with how barn owls are helping farmers soar above some of the challenges, Tanya. Well, Michael and Kelly, it all started in 1994 when a local researcher helped a student with a science project. But the project went beyond winning an award, taking flight with local farmers. Dr. Richard Raid is a plant pathologist. He works at the University of Florida Everglades Research and Education Center in Belle Glade. He's making his rounds on the property, not checking on plants, but climbing a ladder to check on dozens of boxes. Inside this box, a barn owl mom with her young nestled in a dark corner. Those facial discs, what we call facial discs that surround their eyes, are like a dish antenna. And that funnels sound into their ears, which are right behind their eyes. And actually their ears are a little bit offset. One is higher than the other. So they actually hear in 3D. That 3D ability helps barn owls find their food. So each one of those small chicks could eat three to four rats per night. And the rodents are a problem for farmers. Sugar cane and, and uh, uh, some of our sweet corn. And so uh, they feed on those crops. Years ago, Dr. Raid started researching barn owls and discovered they could help control the amount of rodents on a farm. His project caught on. I went back and I looked at some uh, economic data on the amount of rat damage back when some studies were done. And it's estimated that uh, over $30 million just due to rats on sugarcane on an annual basis. There are 640 acres here and about 42 of these boxes on the property with more than 100 barn owls. Farmers now have similar boxes on their farmland. Boxes when placed several feet high will attract barn owls to live in. You have some damage every year. We try to control it and we're happy that the Dr. Richard Raid came up with a better way to do it. State Representative Rick Roth says his family's farm has been around for more than half a century. He says instead of using toxic chemicals to get rid of the rodents, the barn owls are good for the environment. The bottom line is, you know, we're trying to figure out ways to do things more naturally. I think more and more growers are going to be participating in the program now that they've really seen the benefit. Now in the video, the barn owls are swaying and the researcher calls that toe dusting and it's to scare away potential predators. Now there are about 2,000 barn owls in the glades and Dr. David Richard Raid says that because of the UF barn owl program, Palm Beach County has some of the highest barn owl densities in North America. Now I know you probably have questions. I had many questions for Dr. Raid and if he is available, you can go to our website wptv.com and you can contact him directly. Back to you. Fascinating. All right. Thanks so much, Tanya.